Well, you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft now allows customization apps to run on Windows 11 24H2. Now, I made a video about five months ago, as you can see here, saying that Microsoft were blocking customized apps. And that's because all of the apps were getting blocked and would not work on Windows 11 24H2. But again, some of these companies have now uh, obviously contacted Microsoft and managed to get them working. And we'll take a look at it in this video of today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro, cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key and you can either upgrade to Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro from home, or you can activate your version of Windows like you see. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out some of these uh, programs and see if they're working out on 24H2. So I've got a fresh install here of 24H2, and this is Windows 11 Pro, and it also has a build of 26100.1882. I fully updated this with the latest updates that were available, and we'll give it a test on this version. Now, I'm not suggesting for one minute that this might not work on other versions that get released later on down the line, but this is the build version I've got right here. I'm not sure if this is the very latest to be released uh, for this version as well. I need to check that, but that's the version we've got running on this test here. And uh, what you will need to do is test it on the versions that you have to see whether it works here. So the release version that you're going to get will probably be uh, slightly different maybe than the one we've got here. But let's go ahead and take a look. So I've got Windhawk here. So Windhawk I'm going to download and uh, install on this system. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Windhawk is going to work perfectly fine because I've not had any issues with Windhawk being blocked or having issues with uh, uh, Windows 11 at all. And I think that's just the way it works. So let's go ahead and get this installed and you can see it let me download the file perfectly fine and it's now downloading off their servers and it will extract and it will go ahead then install on the system if this works then we're pretty much good to go and the program should work perfectly fine so i'm pretty sure that this is going to run so let's go ahead and click finish and run the application and there we go it is working on 24h2 and you can see there is some uh options you can browse here there's tons of stuff on here this is a really good app if you like to customize windows probably one of the best ones out there and uh, you can explore these and there's quite a few here so let's go ahead and try and install one of these ones here let's do uh, the taskbar uh, height and icon size here and we'll go ahead and install that right here click install and see if it gets installed and if we can work it so proceed with care as you can see here we are going to be installing customizations from people uh, on the internet so just be careful with what you're installing on your system so i'm going to go ahead and install this and you can see it's working perfectly fine so far we're having no issues uh, with this version of windows 24h2 and all you need to do now is we're going to go to the settings pane and see if we can make a change to this taskbar here this seems to be one of the ones that uh, uh, Microsoft like to mess around with and block for some reason uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and we will uh, click on some of these settings here you can see icon size taskbar height and taskbar width I could just put a bunch of numbers in here so let's go ahead and do that and we'll save this and see what it looks like and whether it works properly so let me just do a couple of little changes here and come down to the height and then we can make a change here and then what we can do next is come down to the taskbar width. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Once we're happy with those settings, we can now click save. And once that's done, that should say, uh, yes, we need to restart Explorer. That's fine. And, and there we go. The screen's gone black and it's now working. Now, the black screen was a real big problem with Explorer Patcher on some versions before. I think the guy was doing a lot of updates with Explorer Patcher. But we'll have a look at that as well. But that works perfectly fine. So that's good news for people that like to use that application. So what we're going to do is quickly uninstall all of the settings and all of that stuff from the system. And we'll try something else. So let's go ahead and try the next option, what we've got available.
So let's take a look at Explorer Patcher. Now, I know Explorer Patcher was having a lot of trouble with uh, the latest version of Windows 11, Windows 11 24 H2, and a load of different builds. It was stopped working, and there was loads of issues with it. And I think the guy has spent a ton of time uh, trying to update it and get it up to snuff to try and get it working properly. And you'll be able to see here, there's a lot of information on his uh, page here on GitHub where you can read about it. I'm going to go to the latest section here, but you do have to use the correct version for it to work properly. Otherwise, it will not work correctly, as you can see. So there's some build options available here, and there's some other things that you're going to have to do to get this working. I don't think this is always going to work flawlessly with Windows 11 24H2. He has done a lot of updates on it. As you can see here, it says he now officially works and it's compatible with Windows 11 24H2 here. There's a bunch of information there, but you do need to put in a bunch of exclusions here inside the uh, Windows Defender, otherwise it will not allow you to use it. And I think the reason for that is because of the nature of the program itself. It gets flagged as, anti uh, as a virus and things like that. And these are the bits right here. Now, I'm not sure whether this version I've got running here is going to work with this one I've got. On the system so we'll give it a go and i'm going to download it and straight away you can see it has been flagged by smart screen as a virus let's go keep and windows defender smart screen has reported this as a dodgy and we're going to keep anyway and you can see couldn't download virus detected now i think he has rectified this on a particular type of version on windows 11 24 h2 but like i said uh, there's always going to be a cat and mouse game with this particular program and you might have to jump for a bunch of hoops uh, to get it working. And that's because of the nature of the app and the way it works and why it's getting flagged and things like that. You can read all that information on the website as well on GitHub's website for Explorer Patcher. Just do a search for Explorer Patcher inside uh, Google and you will then find that page. So right inside here, what you're going to have to do here is to get it working on a version that is on his list there because I'm not sure if this version is going to work. You'd have to add an exclusion here. And what you will have to do is you're going to go in here. There's some exclusions here. You can either put these one at a time inside the Windows Defender, or you can open up PowerShell right here, and it will add them in for you. You can either add them in one at a time there, or open up PowerShell by typing PowerShell here, and run this as administrator like so. I've showed you this before, and then you can just basically paste this in, and it will put those into the exclusion list right here and hopefully uh, it will exclude those files and it should run so what you can do here now once you've got that in is uh, give it a test you might need to still turn off some uh, features here i did mess around with this couldn't get it to work properly it kept stopping it and blocking it and it wouldn't open and uh, i did mess around with it and i finally got it to download after a bit of fettling and uh, it managed to get it to work but when we click on it here, let's give it a go and click run. So let me just go ahead here. Maybe the build that I'm using, it just doesn't like it. I'm going to say yes here. And straight away, we got that black screen here and the antivirus program kicks in and blocks it for some reason. So you might get this a lot with this particular program in the future. Another thing to bear in mind is if you're looking to upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11 to 24H2. If you've got this installed on a previous older version, it's not going to let you upgrade. And there's a bunch of other apps as well that won't let you upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11 24H2 if they are installed on your system. But you can see here, it does say that he has got it supported and working on Windows 11 24H2. And there's a bunch of uh, numbers uh, underneath there that you have to have. So I'm not sure with this version is compatible with it i really don't know but i did update this version and it's fully updated so if that doesn't work then it probably is something to do with the build version that i'm using anyway unfortunately i couldn't get this working so we're going to go ahead and try uh start all back this is another one that i think uh does block upgrades uh to newer versions of uh, for feature upgrades to newer versions of windows well you've got to be very careful when you're putting these sort of applications on your system because they can sort of block uh, the upgrade process so you might want to uninstall these upgrade and then put them back on again so i'm going to install this for everyone 
And this was another one that didn't work properly, but now it seems to work perfectly fine, as you can see here. We're having no issues whatsoever. And uh, again, uh, the latest updates for this version of Windows 11 24H2 have been installed and working on here. Maybe that some of these people need to keep their program updated. And this is the thing with uh, Explorer Patcher. But Start All Back working perfectly fine. So if you've got a version of Start All Back and you want to continue to use it, it does work with this particular build and version. And uh, once it gets fully released, I'll try these again and I'll let you know on my community page whether there's any sort of issues without having to make another video again. But we'll go ahead and I'll make a post on there. So let's go ahead and download Start 11. Now, Start 11 is my go-to tool, what I use, because it gives me a really nice start menu. And it also has a lot of features in here that are covered in, uh, you know, Explorer Patcher and stuff like that. And it just works. It, you can update Windows and it works perfectly fine. If there was a bug, the company are very quick to release an update very quickly to get that program working again. And again, it's my go-to uh, to replace the actual start menu on Windows 11 because I don't like it. And I prefer this program out of all of them. And of course, it gets regular updates and it just works. So that's my choice. It's not free and you will have to pay for it. Um, but again, the support and updates are there and it just works with that application. You won't have to do any sort of jumping through hoops to get it working and put any exclusions in so Windows Defender, it's not going to get flagged as viruses and things like that. You, it just works straight out of the box. You just download it and install it and it works. So that is my choice. But let's go ahead and get this downloaded. And I'm using it now on my system. And I've never sort of had any major issues with the program itself. Now, generally, once it starts to install, it generally means it's going to work. So we managed to download it. And now we're going to go ahead and install it. And let's go ahead and get this installed. And there you go. It's working perfectly fine. All we need to do here is enter your product code. Or you could, if you're using the trial method, uh, start your trial and put your email address in here. And it will open up and it will start working on here. I'm not going to do that part here because I've already got mine working. And I've already used my key, my uh, email to get a trial version for it. So it's not going to work. But it does work on here as you can see, and I've got the very latest versions updated, fully updated on this system. So that is the build number right there, and that is the version of Windows I'm using. If you've tested this yourself on some apps that don't work, let me know in the comments section what those apps are so we can help other people that are watching this video later on in time to see whether these get resolved and it works. Anyway, that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A little bit under the weather at the moment, so hopefully I'll be back to full speed very, very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.